Hi guys and welcome back to FitScope. I'm Sal, your trainer for today. And today we have a very uh, special uh, incline workout, or <laughs> incline, <laughs> can't even speak today, treadmill workout. We're using bands, resistant bands, okay? I already have my band on, as you guys can see, but I just wanna quick let you guys know, these are a very good investment. They're not even expensive. You can get them at pack at on Amazon or what have you. They come in different uh, sizes and in different colors, okay? So it's, we're gonna use this type of resistance bands today because we're gonna do some squats on the treadmill. And I want a little bit easier band. They come, I know, a little bit heavier for us, a little bit thicker, but we don't want that for this type of workout, okay? So if you have a resistance band, now it's a good time to put it on and put it comfortable around your, above your knee. So not right on your knee, but around and above your knee, okay? Just so you guys know. So we're gonna start with that. If you have your band on, that's awesome. So five minutes of just a warm up. We're gonna go nice, comfortable speed. Nothing over exaggerate, nothing overkill. Just keep it cool. I'm on 2.0 right now. Nothing too quick. Just to warm up. And remember, you, since you already, if you're wearing the resistance bands, it will feel a little bit more like resistancy <laughs> when you're walking, okay? That's for we don't want to speed it up on our warm up, okay? So we're gonna just start with <sighs> cool, breathe in and out, keep those core muscle engaged, okay? And if you feel like the speed on two is a little bit too low, you guys can always come up a little bit as long as it feels comfortable for you, okay? Awesome. And if this is your first time using resistance band, well, you are in for a treat, okay? my favorite tool to use. I actually use a resistance band in almost all of my lower body workouts. They're also great to use at, at home or the gym. You can always bring them in, in your gym bag, have them on the side, pull them out when you need to. Three more minutes of this warm up. Okay, you guys, if you want to climb up a little bit higher in speed, absolutely. I'm now on 2.8. Still very mild, nothing too crazy, okay? So I hope everyone is feeling happy and healthy. Hope your week been good, some are treating you well. I actually got some color myself. Used to be super pale, but you know, LA is finally having summer heat back, so I'm happy for that and <laughs> my skill skin feels happy and healthy, glowing. Okay, my lovelies, two more minutes, two more minutes. Again, if you want to speed up a little bit, not too much, just a slightly tightening bit. I'm on 2.9 now. Be my guest. Still keep it nice. Don't forget to breathe, core engage. Press through your heel when you walk. It's another thing. Uh, to notice your walk. If you're that type of person that you press through your front, your toes first, this is your time to practice. Really press through your heel as you walk, okay? So this is a smooth, this is how you want your foot to go. You don't want to press like this, okay? Smooth press through your heel. There you go. Awesome. Perfect. So, in one minute, we are going to do squats, okay? Uh, the time will be five minutes. We're gonna do eight squats per minute, okay? Don't worry, I will count you down. I'll do this with you. So you don't feel confused or anything. I'm gonna explain. So keep the uh, treadmill going slower. I'm actually gonna lower down my speed a tiny bit. Probably gonna go down on 2.5, I would say. I'm on 2.9 right now. So you don't want the treadmill super fast when you do this. And you also want to hold on. Even though you have strong legs, maybe you work out your legs three days a week or what have you, but still, for the sake of your safety, okay? Make sure you hold on to the side because you want the balance. When you have your balance, you can focus more on your legs, okay? When you do those squats. And you can focus more on really squeezing your glute up up to top. So when you come down, squeeze up. I will help you with that. Okay, my lovelies, you guys ready? So first off, 
let's lower our speed okay so this is nice actually gonna lower it a little bit more okay I'm on 2.0 perfect make sure your uh, resistance band is not curled up okay so if you wear a little thinner that tends to happen totally okay if it does curl up during this workout just slide it back down above your knees no problem okay my lovelies you ready so we're doing eight squats okay hold on first and then step off the treadmill okay and we're gonna hop in hop out in and out in and out that was three four you got this press through your heel push up with your glute and eight awesome yes that was not scary you got this awesome let's keep on walking we can add up the speed now since we're walking we're gonna repeat that again remember it's eight squat per minute you got this you can speed it up a little bit and if your band curled up remember what i said just slightly push it down awesome core engage yes got this breathe in and out don't forget to breathe and again lovelies press through your heels when you're walking okay there you go awesome almost there almost there we're gonna repeat the squats 30 seconds so press through your heel, keep those glutes activated. Okay. Okay, my lovelies, let's start first and foremost. Lower the speed. Lower the speed. I might go even lower this time. Okay, so I'm on 1.2 right now. Really low. Okay. So first off, ste step off. Make sure your band is not curled up above your knee. Hold to the side and jump in and out and in and out in now push yourself out with your glue that's three four five six two more seven awesome and squeeze up those glutes eight yes back on it back on the speed there you go Awesome, my loves, awesome. I speed it up to 3.4 right now. A little bit more speed, but still walking, as you see. Not rushing, no power walk, no jog. Perfect. Don't forget to breathe. Keep that core engaged. Awesome. Perfect. Yes. We're ready for another set of squats. Yes. Awesome. 30 seconds. Almost there. Breathe in. Out. Get yourself ready. Okay. First of all, remember, lower the speed. Lower the speed. I'm going to go down again to one probably 1.4 again that was a good one also make sure since if you are using the band and it curled up a little bit just slightly tiny put it down so it's right above your knees okay my lovelies and not like right in the middle of your thigh step away step off okay make sure you hold on for your balance and let's go eight in out one two three four push up five squeeze up those glutes six seven yes eight awesome back to walking speed up 3.5 3.2 is good still keep the high rate up we don't want to lose that high rate okay we need that for this. So one more round of squats, okay? 
After this. You got this. Yes. Take a sip. Take a sip. Don't forget, if you feel like you ever need to take a little breather, take a sip. Always good to have a water bottle close by. So just make sure. Grab that sip, okay? Awesome. And we walking, and we walking. Okay, my lovelies. Ready? Last set of squats. Let's lower down our speeds. Yes. So 1.4 again, okay? Step off. Make sure the band is nice right above. Perfect. Okay, eight squats. And go. In. Out. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, last one, eight. Awesome. Yes, okay. So now keep on the band. We have, we're gonna have the bands on throughout the whole workout, okay? What next we're gonna to do is incline, okay? We're gonna go up on the highest top. So my incline goes all the way up to 12.0. It varies throughout the treadmills. If you can go higher, awesome. If not, go as high as you feel most challenged. Because remember, my loves, I always tell people, tell all you guys, tell my clients, challenge yourself. Nothing ever grows in comfort, okay? So try to push yourself. And remember, while we practice, press through that heel. Press through that heel, okay? really important i'm gonna add my speed up a little bit okay so i want to kind of like almost power walk through and for this one if the band comes up a little bit in the middle of your thigh totally perfect totally okay don't worry about the band you got that band for that resistance okay that band makes it a little bit harder so you step as wide as you can i'm gonna uh, Come up on three points. I'll say 3.1. I feel like 3.1 is a good speed. I feel like I'm power walking. And notice my posture, my form. I'm slightly poking out my glutes, okay? Leaning forward a little bit. Keeping my core engaged, okay? Hold on to the side, okay? And step, and step. You got this. Awesome. Perfect. You can always, always climb up in your speed or in your incline. I'm using the highest incline right now. Okay. You can always challenge yourself in the middle of it as we go. Okay. So you can start where you are right now and then say in three minutes, push yourself up. Okay, you got this, yes. That's what you're here for. Here for pushing yourself, okay? You can chillax after, there's no Netflix and chill right now. Now we're pushing ourselves, okay? We can Netflix and chill later. Yes, awesome. Powerful. And as you guys can see, my resistance band climbed up slightly higher. This is because I'm pushing, really pushing my legs hard, okay? Really pressing through my heels, activating those glute muscles. So if your band does the same, perfect. No need to focus on putting it down right now. Just keep climbing. Awesome. You got this. Yes. Strong. We're already almost at five. Almost halfway through. Okay. Awesome, my lovelies. Awesome. Push through. Push through. 
As you can see, my band is all the way up, kind of like right under my glute. That's okay, because I'm pushing. Pushing hard with my legs. Really pressing through the heel. Okay, walking through my glutes. Fun fact about glutes, you know that glute muscle is actually one of the largest muscles on your body. And one of the laziest. Okay, because think about it, you're basically sitting on your booty, I don't know, 80, 70 maybe, 70 to 90% of the day, depending on work or the drive to work or what have you. So it's also one of the laziest, right? So now is the time to put it to work. You'd be surprised how lazy your glutes are, okay? But you need to use those glute muscles for this one. You got this. Take a sip, okay? Also, let's start to climb up a little bit higher. So if you're not on your highest incline, highly suggest to do that, okay? Also on speed. If you can add some more speed, you got this, okay? Walking, three more minutes now. Time fly by quick, okay? You'd be surprised. You got this, yes. Push, push, push. Woo! Awesome. Still have my band on. <laughs> Might not be noticeable right now. Climbed all the way up. I still have it and I feel that resistance. Really activate those glutes. You got this. Awesome. Think of a goal. Think of a goal that you have. Could be a small, could be a big. Okay. Could be still a New Year's resolution. Never too late, you guys. So close. You'd be so proud of yourself at the end. But you stick around, push yourself through this powerful workout. Two more minutes, my loves, two more minutes. We got this. I'm in with you guys, okay? I'm pushing through as well. You got it. Let's do this together. Awesome. So close. Again, if you can come up higher on your incline, if you haven't already, try to push yourself this last one minute and 30 seconds. Okay? Don't make it too easy. Should never feel too easy. Should always be challenging. You got this. Yes. Okay, my loves, one more minute. One more minute. Power through, power through. You got this, yes. Having so much fun. 30 seconds now, yes. Woo! Awesome. Okay, my lovelies, let's start first and foremost, speed. Go slower on your speed, okay? Slow down to a comfortable walk, to feel comfortable. And now, go down on your incline. Should be all the way down, okay? All the way down to a flat surface. Perfect. We are going to do one more squat five minutes okay so eight squat per minute for five minutes and then after that I promise you guys you're done you're taking a nice cool down so bear with me sip some water okay give you time to sip some water while you're sipping your water also adjust your speed okay should be a low speed right now adjust your band if it curled up all the way Try to adjust it. Up step off the, if that helps. If not, it's perfect. So it should be right above 
Okay, my lovelies, you guys ready? So make sure, first and foremost, speed is low. Hold on to your sides. Band is right above your knee, and go. And one. Push up your glutes. Two. Squeeze your glute up. Three. Four. Five. Awesome. Six. Seven. Eight. Yes. Okay, back on it. Now, raise up your speed to walk. To a not, not super powerful 3.1 again. Keep it steady. Keep my heart rate up. That was cool. You got this. Sip on some water. Sip some water. Okay, so one more minute of this. Walking, then we're back on squats. You got this. Told you guys we're being for a treat, right? <laughs> for those of you that never use resistance band, first timers, salute to you guys. Awesome, they are way harder than it looks. Okay. Okay, my lovelies. You guys are ready? Last to start with, lower down the speed. Awesome. Go down back to, so I found my comfortable speed at 1.4, okay? So find your, either use mine or find something similar. It should really be slow. And eight squats, ready and go. One, two, push out with your glute, not your arms. Five, six, seven, and eight, awesome, perfect, back to walking. Raise up that speed. I know you guys are tired, but hold on, we got this. We are strong together, okay? Almost there, almost there. Breathe. Two more rounds of those squats. Okay, we got this. And we're walking, and we're walking. And, uh, so my speed right now is on 3.3. Okay, that's why I feel like it's good, steady, but still keep my heart rate up. So find that for you as well. And uh, remember, since you have the band on, so you really want to feel that resistance. You really want to press through, push with those legs. Basically, open up the band, stretch it out with your steps. Pow, 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 pow. Yes. Awesome. Okay, my lovelies. Lower down the speed. Prepare for squats. Back on 1.4. Really low. Step to the side. Be careful. Hold on. And another little reminder. So when you push, come up, press your up with your glutes and not your arms okay so these are just hooks that keep your balance all power in your glutes okay my lovelies let's do this down up one two squeeze up them glutes three four five six seven eight Yes! Back on walking, back on walking. Too hyped over there, okay? <laughs> Clearly I can do more. <laughs> Just so you guys, if you don't know me, lower body workout is my favorite. I can talk about glutes all day long, okay? <laughs> so one more round, one more round of squats, then it's a cool down. Grab a sip, grab a towel. I'm on 3.3 right now. Keeping it cool with my towel. Keep breathing. Don't forget to breathe. In and out. Core engaged. Press through your heel. Awesome. Almost there. Almost there, sweetie. 
Perfect. Okay, my loves, you guys ready? Last round of squats. And just to spice it up a little bit, let's do 10 squats, okay? Let's really push ourselves. Because it's no pain, no gain, right? That's what they say. So let's really push ourselves. So lower down, 1.4, step to the side. Make sure your band is nice above your knees. Hold on, remember, not pressing upper, pressing through your heel. And let's go for 10, ready? Yes. Squeeze up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, eight, nine, last one, last one, ten, awesome, back on walking. So now you can keep this, this low walk speed or you can go up a little bit. But remember, it's the cool down right now. We don't want to over, overkill it. We just want our heart rate down, back to normal. So make sure you do it step by step. And these cool downs are very important. After an intense, or even if you do an intense or more sprint, cardio workout, make sure you always cool down. Never just climb off, press stop and climb off the treadmill. Because remember, your pulse is still high, legs are still going, okay? You don't want to just strip off, because right? always feel like you're kind of a little dizzy when you step off, so make sure you're really cooling down, okay? Make sure now is the time to sip, sip some water, take a good sip, okay? Did a great job. And also, these workouts, you can also do without resistance band if you guys Still, uh, or you don't have resistance bands, or you're waiting for your order, or what have you, you can do this without, okay? What the resistance band basically does is give you more resistance, a little bit harder, pushes you a little bit more, okay? But you can easily do this with your body weight, okay? Just you and the treadmill. Make sure, go down a little bit. If you got up on your speed, go slowly down again, okay? I'm now on 1.6, still very low. My heart rate is still kind of pretty much up. So let's keep it down a little bit. Sip some more water. Awesome. And you can also always go for another, up to you about the cool down. Honestly, five or seven minutes is recommended. It's up how you feel or how intense you, you feel and you went. But, that's it for today you guys thank you so much for watching okay don't forget to follow us on social media at fitsco app and you can follow me at booty building by sal okay see you guys later bye